The final step to establish native warm season grasses is management of a new stand. Planting may fail or develop slowly because of poor weed control during the first year. Weeds should be controlled in the first season to reduce competition for sunlight, soil moisture, and nutrients. Without weed control, a thin, incomplete stand may result. Nitrogen fertilizers should not be applied during the first growing season because it can promote weed growth. Weeds may be controlled by mowing, spraying herbicides, or controlled grazing. It's best to control weeds before they develop mature seeds. Otherwise, the weed problem will continue to harm the planting well into the future. More so by the time seed heads emerge, the damage to stressed native grass seedlings has been done. Mowing weedy competition in native grass plantings is an effective method of weed control when done correctly. Mow weeds as they reach 12 inches in height on new plantings. To prevent damage to new seedlings, avoid mowing below 6 inches. Don't mow after August 1st because seedlings are preparing themselves for winter by storing carbohydrates. Herbicides should be used only when there's a severe weed problem. Many desirable broadleaf plants and legumes can be harmed, so use only when necessary. Do not use herbicide if native forbs or wildflowers are a part of the seeding mix. As recommended with site preparation, spraying herbicide for weed control should only be done according to label directions. Before applying herbicides, be sure to identify weed species you want to control. Thoroughly research your control options. Consider cost effectiveness. Minimize environmental risks. Secure the proper application equipment and know when to apply herbicide and use the right type. Controlled grazing can also reduce weeds, but it requires close monitoring on your part. Like mowing or spraying, grazing is done before weeds develop mature seeds. Grazing too short or too long can result in grass seedlings being pulled or torn loose from the soil. Allow animals to graze for short periods and remove them, a method called flash grazing. Do not leave them in longer than one day per week and stop grazing for weed control by mid-August. By fall, your native warm season grass should be 6 to 8 inches tall depending on soil fertility, weather conditions, and effective weed control. Avoid grazing a new planting during the first winter. Livestock can tear loose seedlings from the soil. Do not burn until after the second growing season so plants can be established. Closely inspect your planting early in the second growing season for aggressive weeds, such as tall fescue and Cerisia lespedeza. Left uncontrolled, these plants can quickly dominate a native grass field and greatly reduce its value. To recap your management efforts, control weeds during the first summer before they reach 12 inches or produce mature seed. Never apply nitrogen fertilizer during the first summer to discourage weeds. Do not graze during the first winter after planting. Inspect the planting for weed reoccurrence in the spring and early summer months of the second growing season. Quickly control nuisance weeds, such as tall fescue and Cerisia lespedeza. Establishing native grasses can be challenging. Helpful advice is available through the Missouri Department of Conservation, Natural Resources Conservation Service, Soil and Water Conservation Districts, and the University of Missouri Extension Service. The key to success is to follow the basic principles discussed in this video, and above all, don't expect immediate results. Be patient. The results are worth the wait.